formula for that is work plus rest equals success. Recovery and regeneration is our form of rest. Today we're going to do some self-massage with the foam roll. We're going to take you through a great routine and you'll feel great when you get done with it. One point to remember, when you first start this foam roll, your tissue may be a little bit neglected and it may hurt a little bit more, just like an early massage. You do this two or three times, your tissue is going to be a little happier with you. It's going to feel great. It's going to feel long. You're going to feel great when you're done, but it also won't be near as painful. So start easy and we'll gradually build up from there. So let's get started, Sue. Great. We're gonna start off with just working right into our hamstrings. And we're gonna get both hamstrings just warmed up. And we're really gonna to try to keep good posture the whole time that we do this. And we're just gonna support some weight with our hands. And let's just rock back and forth. And the foam roll allows us to get a great self massage without the need for a therapist. Good. Now let's go ahead and we're just gonna slide over to our left. We're gonna focus the majority of our efforts right now on this right leg. Then we'll come back and get your left leg. We're gonna to try to keep great posture. I want you to take your left hand, just reach it right out in front of you with great posture. Now you'll notice my foot's a little bit farther away. I'm gonna to try to slide my pelvis right back, keeping really good posture and bringing it back. You're gonna notice that's a nice little hamstring stretch. You feeling that, Sue? I sure am. Good. Almost sometimes might be a little bigger than a nice little hamstring stretch. <laughs> but if we can do that, we're just reprogramming our body. And we're opening up that hamstring. Good, one more time and rest. Okay, now we'll just go ahead. We're just gonna now massage that hamstring all by itself. You can turn the toe out, and you can turn the toe in, just to change where you're massaging. Now if you want, this may be enough as you're just starting out. If this doesn't feel too bad, support the weight with both hands. We can stack the legs, and it looks like it's a little more casual, but it's actually a little deeper soft tissue on your hamstring, just because you're using the weight of the other leg. Good. Now we're just gonna keep sliding all the way down, almost right up to your sit bones. And we're just gonna go above that and we're gonna focus right here on your glutes. We're gonna make sure we can just start to massage that out. Now there's no magic number of reps for your foam roll. It really has to do with your tissue quality. So what Sue and I recommend is just if you find a spot that's a little tighter, a little more tender, just spend a little more time on it or do a little bit, go away and then come back. And that'll let that tissue have time to open up. It's kind of like peeling an onion. Good. Now we're going to start to do that that's opened up. I'm going to take this bottom leg of the glute, this right leg we're massaging, just cross it across your knee just here. And now we're going to do the same thing. You're going to feel this a little differently. You're going to get into your piriformis a little bit more, a little bit deeper into those glutes. Good. Good complement to it. Again, we're supporting our weight through our shoulder, supporting our weight with this other leg. If you need to take some weight off that glute. And now we're gonna straighten that leg right back out. And we're gonna go to the little muscle between, right in the top of your hip bone to the top of your waist. And we're just gonna slide right over. Notice how I take this leg on top. That will allow me to support some weight off of this if it's too much pressure for you. So right now I'll we'll support that leg over. I'm gonna go right down to my elbow. And we're just gonna focus on about that four inches between your hip bone right up to where your waistline hits. Feel that in there? Just roll a little bit forward not quite to the front of your hip. And now we'll just roll right to the side. Good. And now we'll gradually start to roll back right on top of the glute. And just get that little part right there. Good. Just keep rocking back. Flatter and flatter with your pelvis. Good. And now we'll rock a little bit back toward the center. And now this one may be a little bit painful. We call this our IT band roll. So we're gonna take that roll, it's gonna go just below your hip to just above your knee. Support your weight on your arm, support your weight with this top leg. We're gonna roll from the top of your knee all the way back up to the top of your hip. And from the top of the knee, you feel that's a little bit tight, isn't it? <laughs> Sue, how are you feeling? It's the one I've been dreading. Yes, it is. So this one, you may have to take a little pressure off of there right away. And then gradually as you progress, we can start to do this with stacking your legs, just going all the way up and all the way back and all the way up, and all the way back. And now we can start to just work off a little bit of that IT. We're gonna roll over more toward the, not quite the front of your thigh, but not quite on your IT, and work the lateral quad. Just the outside of your quad muscle right there. And you're definitely gonna feel that one. You feeling that, Sue? 
I sure am. Good. That's tight. Yep. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to come through. Now we're just gonna roll right down onto our face. And we're gonna get our quads, a little bit of a quad roll right there. So what helps me is I bring this leg out almost like an army crawl. Put the weight right there on your forearms. So you're gonna go from the top of your hip right down all the way to above your knee. Let's go ahead and focus this first part just on the top of your hip. And let's just roll back and forth right on the top part of your hip. Now let's work down to the middle of your thigh. And again, you can go the toe out slightly or the toe in just to change that massage. You're gonna find some little sticky points. If you do, and something feels a little bit rough, just spend a little more time going back and forth over it. Now let's work down to the very bottom, just above your kneecap. Now this may be a little bit tender at first. It's a lot of those muscles all come together just above your kneecap. It'll help give you a great massage. And some of that pain actually comes from the pressure of the foam roll on your tissue, but it gets it to relax and to release, and that's a really good thing. Now what we're gonna do is go all the way to the top of your hip, all the way back down to your knee, and we'll just do that a few times. Turning the toe in, turning the toe out, and trying to get through there. Okay, now we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the inside of this thigh. Just by taking that, we're gonna rotate it just a little bit. And now, we're gonna take this foam roll. We're gonna work right on the inside part of this thigh. Again, support my weight on this inside leg. Let's work just the top, up by the top of your inseam, and just roll back and forth. You feeling that? I sure am. Now you know, will definitely help. Yeah. I'm gonna have to breathe a little bit more right now, Sue. <laughs> Good, big breath in. Now you can do this two ways. You can do it with the leg bent, and you can do it with the leg straight. Right now we're just gonna kinda go with it bent. Let's go ahead and work toward the middle of that. Just work that middle section, big breath in. Good. Now the one that may be the most painful, be coming all the way down to just this inside part of the knee here. And we're just gonna work right into the top of your knee, all the way down to your kneecap, and then just up a third of the way up your leg. Is that sore on you too? That's very sore. Yes, it may be sore on you as well. Good, so just rock that back and forth. Good, excellent. All right, so that's getting right through that right side. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna pick on the other one. How's your leg feel? Feels woken up. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do this. We'll focus pretty much on this left leg the whole time, and we're just gonna work right through it. So let's go ahead and we'll just start on a little bit of that massage, the back flat, pulling the hips back, and now we're gonna start to release that hamstring, trying to keep great posture, getting a good stretch. Now let's go ahead and go back. We can either stack or go on it independently. Just roll that massage, that hamstring out. The goal of recovering and regeneration is just a philosophy that you can't go hard every day. And we need to be able to help get that rest part of the equation so that you can achieve your goals. Again, the whole goal of sports school is to give you small steps to attain a much greater goal. And the recovery and regeneration is actually the part where you get to take a step back so you're refreshed enough to take a couple steps forward. Great. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually work through, go right up into our glutes. Okay, so we'll go right back up to those sit bones. We're gonna work right through here again. Again, just kind of pick on it where it may be sore. And trust me, if you're going through the sports school workouts, even from the most basic levels, you definitely be aware that you're using your glutes, your hip stabilizers. So we're gonna make sure that we're getting in there a lot. Okay, now let's go ahead and cross your leg right up. Still keep that little bit of a lean, and we're gonna go right into that piriformis, a little bit deeper, the stretch. So you feeling that one? Yes, that one's tight too. I should do this more often. I should do this more often as well. This is literally something at sports school, which are all our specialists we fight over who gets to take the recovery and regeneration <laughs> workouts because we feel so great afterwards. Just like you, we put in a long week and it feels great. It can just change your whole mood and that's why a lot of us actually have these things at home or roll around on them. Let's go ahead now and we're gonna focus on this bottom leg and we're gonna focus between your hip and your waist. And we're just gonna support this top leg. And we're just gonna work back and forth between your waist 
in your hip. Rolling a little bit forward and then gradually starting to lean back a little more and back a little more so you're working right along the line of your glutes, right where it ties into your pelvis. That will help get that released. <sighs> Big breath, here we go. Legs over the top. We're gonna go right onto that brace on that pillar and we're just gonna go over all the way down to the bottom and all the way back up to the top. To the bottom, back up to the top. Sue, how are you doing? Doing good. Good. Working my way down to the elbow. There it is. Now, I'm feeling really good, so I'm gonna take a deep breath. I'm gonna suck it up, I'm gonna stack them in. We're gonna roll all the way out, and we're gonna roll all the way back. Big deep breaths. Oh, if you're stacking, that. I'm stacking. Yeah, it's all about stacking. It's about loving the pain. <laughs> Excellent. All right, now we're gonna gradually roll just over to the, not quite on the front of your quad, but just on the side. And let's get that lateral quad. You feeling that one? Yep. Good. How can you not? I wouldn't know. <laughs> Good. And let's roll right over, almost get into your army stance there. And we'll just kind of roll the top half of your quad. Right up in the front of your hip flexors, in the front of your hip. And just about halfway down. And you just get a nice rhythm going here. We actually start to get that massage. If you start to feel a pressure point, you can also just stop and pause and just let that pressure point sit right on the foam roll. And then gradually just start to roll it right back out again. Let's go ahead and work down to the middle part of our quad. Just back and forth. And again, this is open to your interpretation. You want to make sure we cover all your muscles here. But if you're feeling more tight than others, you're gonna spend more time. It's about the whole video on demand series. You're in charge, you're in control. If you wanna pause this, focus on a little bit more, and then turn it back on as we progress through, we'll be here for you. Let's go right down to the very top of your knee, and we'll rock it back and forth. Now you may have one side that's a lot tighter than the other, and that's where we're gonna just keep working on, making this both sides equal. So you may just need to spend more time on that side. Good, okay. Now we're gonna take this leg, we're gonna kinda go back into our army stance, we're gonna have the roll under this bent leg, and we're just gonna roll this very top half right up by your inseam, and just roll back and forth. So this is gonna stretch the muscles around your groin, all on the inside of your thigh. You getting that one too, Sue? Yep. Good. All right, let's work the middle of that now, just the middle third. Again, you can go leg straight, or leg bent, And let's go all the way down to just inside that knee, right in through here. That might be a little bit tender, especially if you're a runner or you're an aggressive walker or a hiker, you're really gonna feel that VMO. Cyclists a lot get the same thing, and a lot of court sport and field sport athletes. So just rock that back and forth. I'm just breathing. That's all I'm trying to do too. Beautiful. Excellent. Now we'll finish off with the double quad, just keeping both legs right on top of the roll. We'll just roll it all the way down, roll it all the way up, roll it all the way down. Just a nice way to kind of flush out the muscle. Okay, now we're gonna work into that low back. Now that we've had the rest of these muscles opened up, we're just gonna sit right in front of your foam roll get a quick adjustment here. We'll sit right on the front of your foam roll. We're just gonna roll right in that low back. You're gonna keep your abs tight. We're gonna support our head with our hands and the weight can be elevated through our hips. We're gonna work the bottom third, then the middle third of our back, and then the upper third. Make sure we keep the abs tight, lift the hips. We're just gonna rock back and forth. This will feel great on your low back. Depression massage, all up to you. And a little secret is we can lean just a little bit to your right on this bottom third and get a little bit of this, what they call the quadratus lumborum, and a little bit on the other side and rock back and forth. Good. Now let's go to the middle third. Now support your head, tummy's tight, and we're just going to walk, rock from that mid thoracic. Really important to try to keep this moving in through here. Good. 
Make sure to keep your tummy tight. Great massage, isn't it, Sue? This is the one I've been waiting for. Right there. And if you spend a long day at home or at the office, it's where you're gonna feel it, and especially this next one. I want you to take your elbows and squeeze them together. That slides your shoulder blades out of your on your ribs, and it's gonna allow you to massage right between your shoulder blades, which always get tight and knotted. Right there is a part where if you're sitting at the computer or too much screen time or you have to drive a lot, this really feels great. And now let's go all the way down, keeping your tummy tight, and then all the way back up, all the way down, all the way back up. One more time, and rest. Okay, now we're gonna work just up in these lats. We stretch them, and we also need to massage them. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take that roll, and we're gonna just go right on our side, almost like we were watching TV, and we're just gonna place it just down below that scapula, and you can almost use this opposite hand to help kind of knead into that tissue. And if you start to feel a little better there, we can rock into a little deeper, a little greater range of motion. Now, let's take this foam and put it on the other side, just above your armpit, right into your tricep, and let's just rock it back and forth right in through there. And that's gonna get a lot of the muscles that attach from your shoulder blade up into your arm, which if you like to throw or you like to play a lot of racket sports, these really get tight, tired. One side will probably be much worse than the other for you on this, okay? Now if we straighten that arm at the same time and we can just roll a little deeper and that'll get us right in that tricep. And let's switch sides and get the other lat. You feeling that one? Yes. Do you get one that's uh, more tight than the other? Yes, my right side? side. Your right side? It's usually tighter. You know, I've noticed because Sue does a lot of our rehab here and works a lot of our professional baseball players and she's got a cannon. Just, <laughs> so that's probably why it's a little bit tighter than normal. All that deceleration. That's right. These muscles are really important. There's a tremendous amount of muscles going on about the rotator cuff and about the shoulder. So we want to make sure we can keep them well functioning. And let's go on the other side of the armpit, just up top, between the back of your shoulder and your tricep. Use that offhand to massage it through. Good. And rest. Great job, Sue. I don't know about you, but I feel pretty good. I feel very good. More importantly, it's all about how you feel right now. And hopefully, your experience with the foam roll has been a great one. The first time, it may be a little bit tougher, but if you do this two and three times, this will become one of your best friends. It's on your schedule, just like the video on demand of Sports School. And if you take this foam roll, it's gonna increase the length of your tissue, gonna improve the flexibility, and it's gonna improve your ability to generate force and improve your posture. So we're excited to share these secrets with you, and we hope you enjoy the foam roll as much as we do. Thank you, Sue.